Today we're going to dive into a topic that's on everyone's mind when they're considering making a move and that is what is the cost of living in the new city? And since you're watching this video, I'm going to go out on a little bit of a limb here and say you're considering making a move to Queen Creek, Arizona. So you might be wondering, I wonder how much it actually costs to call Queen Creek home. Now, whether you're considering buying or renting, or maybe you're just curious about daily expenses in general, we're going to break it all down for you. From housing to utilities, groceries to healthcare, we're going to cover it all. Now, I know this isn't the sexiest topic or the most exciting topic, but if you are considering making a move to Queen Creek, this is information that you should have right up front. Plus, I'll try to make it a little bit more interesting by throwing in some of my own personal utility and other types of bills so that you can see what the actual resident is actually paying to live here. Hi and welcome to the channel. My name is John Farron and together with my wife Angie, we are the Farron Group. We're Realtors with Home Smart Lifestyles here in Queen Creek, Arizona, and I make videos where we explore everything that you need to know about living in Queen Creek. Now, let's jump right into the numbers. So housing, this is probably the largest chunk of your monthly expenses, so let's talk about housing costs first. So according to the Cromford report, the median home price in Queen Creek is around $505,000, while the average sales price is actually closer to about $592,000. So what does $592,000 buy you here? This home is currently listed at $589,000. It's barely two years old, and it is located in the premier master plan community in Queen Creek called Barney Farms. Now, if you want to know more about this particular home, be sure to check out this video right here. But when you're comparing apples to apples, um, between Queen Creek and Gilbert and Chandler, your money goes a lot further in Queen Creek. You buy a lot more home for the same price than you do in those other two cities. Currently, the average home price in Gilbert is about $780,000, while the average Chandler home comes in at about $690,000. So here's an example. There's a builder who has two new communities. One is in Gilbert, one is in Queen Creek, and they offer the same floor plans at both locations but the floor plans in Queen Creek are actually about $60,000 or more uh, cheaper than the ones in Gilbert. Now, it's not that Queen Creek is any less desirable than Gilbert. It's just that it's out a little bit further. And so the further you go out, the more affordable the housing becomes. Now, if you're considering renting, you should probably expect to pay somewhere between $2,500 and $2,800 a month uh, for a three-bedroom, two-bath home that's about 2,000 square feet. And you can expect to pay maybe just a little bit less than that if you're looking at apartments, but that three bedroom, two bath apartment is gonna be closer to about 1,400 square feet for that same price. And whether you're renting or buying, there's a large variety of homes ranging from small starter homes all the way up to some pretty large, luxurious custom estates. Now, of course, you're gonna to have to supply water and power to the home, so let's talk about utilities now. Now, of course, there's a lot of different variables that come into play here, but sticking with our standard 2,000 square foot, three bedroom, two bath home, according to payscale.com, you should expect to pay about $190 a month. Now, I don't know where all of these cost of living websites get their data from because seldom do they ever really agree on anything. So I thought I would actually show you my own personal utility bills so that you, again, can see what somebody who's actually living here is actually paying. So my home is a little bit bigger than that standard 2,000 square foot home, and this is my annual electric bill broken down by month. My total bill for the year was $1,726, which comes out to an average of $143 a month. Now, it might be more like $65 a month during the winter months and $275 a month during the summer when the AC is running. And you can see here that my largest monthly bill was that $275. Now we combine water and trash here and typically that will add another 50 to $75 a month. And then don't forget about natural gas. That will run you somewhere between $20 a month to maybe $75 a month. And again, that's going to depend on the season. Now, even though payscale.com says our utility bills are about 3% higher than the national average, I don't think my numbers are really all that bad. I'm curious to know what your utility costs are where you are currently living. Let me know in the comments below. All right, so what's next? Let's talk about groceries. 
Now, according to the USDA, the typical family spends somewhere between $900 and $1,600 a month. Now, a recent report by azcentral.com, which is the Arizona Republic or the local newspaper here, showed that the typical household in Arizona spends $1,200 per month, which was just slightly higher than the national average. Now, like most places, we do have the major grocery stores. We've got Fry's, which if you're not familiar with that, that's Kroger. Just opened a brand new one here. We've got a couple of Safeway stores. Of course, there's Target, there's Walmart, and then we even have a few farmer's markets that pop up where you can get fresh fruits and vegetables. Now, if you're more into eating out than grocery shopping, you'll find a variety of options from way too many fast food places to a few small cafes to a couple of national chain restaurants like Red Robin and Olive Garden. Now, truth be told, I think we fall a little bit short when it comes to actual sit-down restaurants, but hopefully that will change here in the near future. Now, before we move on, if you find value in this video, give it a like or a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, or you want to see the uh, new build community tours that I do, or the model home tours that I do, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click on the bell, and that way you'll be notified every time a new video gets uploaded. So how about transportation costs? That's a pretty important factor in figuring out your budget, right? So Queen Creek is a car dependent town, which means there really isn't any true public transportation here and most people rely on their cars to get around. And if you want to find that public transportation, you're going to have to go west into Gilbert or north into Mesa. So because we're all driving our cars, gas prices become pretty important, right? So currently gas prices are hovering right around $3.65 a gallon. I know to some of you that might sound high and to others that probably sounds like a bargain. And if you go to Costco, they're currently $3.35 a gallon. And if you're into biking and you want to bike to work or bike around town, there are plenty of bike friendly routes here as well. So we're moving along pretty quickly here. So now let's talk a little bit about healthcare because that's important, right? So Queen Creek actually has some pretty good options available to you with a couple of nearby hospitals and lots of urgent cares and some uh, medical office buildings all over town. You don't have to go very far to find some quality health care. Plus, it seems like every week at some major intersection in town, there's a new orthodontist office popping up. I don't know if we've all got bad teeth or what the deal is, but you're not going to want for a lack of orthodontists, that is for sure. All right, now what else can I tell you about? Uh, education. If you've got kids, you're probably curious about uh, the schools and the cost of schooling, right? So Queen Creek is in the Queen Creek Unified School District. So the public schools in Queen Creek are not only highly rated, but they're also free. Now there are also several really good tuition-free charter schools that are available to you as well. But if you prefer private schooling, such as some of the uh, Christian schools or other private schools here, well, obviously you're gonna have to expect to pay tuition at those schools. And with the ASU Polytechnic campus right up Ellsworth Road, and the Central Arizona Community College Santan campus right down Ganzel Road, there's actually several options available for higher education and some pretty good vocational training too. All right, so let's finish up with taxes because that's something I get asked about all the time. Using that standard 2,000 square foot, three bedroom, two bathroom home, you can expect to have property taxes that are right around $2,300, $2,400 a year. Now, I know some of you pay way more than that if you're coming from places like Chicago or New York or Seattle. If you're coming from Mississippi or Arkansas, maybe that sounds a little bit high. I'm not sure, but that is what it is here, and I think that's pretty reasonable. Now, sales tax, it's 8.55%, and honestly, that is a little bit higher than some of the other surrounding communities, but... It's not as high as the city of Phoenix, and it's not as high as Santan Valley. So what's the bottom line here, and how does all of this affect you? Well, one website said the cost of living in Queen Creek is 13% higher than the national average. Another said it was 15% higher than the national average. Whatever it is, I still think you'll agree with me that this is an affordable place to live without sacrificing any type of quality of life. Now, if you've been at this far in the video, you probably really are considering making a move to Queen Creek. And whether you're moving across town or clear across the country, we are your East Valley Relocation Specialists, and we would absolutely love to help you. 
Now we do offer free consultations. I'll put my contact information at the end of the video. There's also a link in the description. Click on that link and you can schedule your own private Zoom call with me. If you're more comfortable texting or emailing, that's absolutely fine as well. The point is, let's just get together. Now, if you want to know more about what it's like to live in Queen Creek, then you're going to want to check out this video right up here where I give you seven reasons that you actually may not want to live here. And this one right here is a must watch because I'm telling you right now, it is the best tour of Queen Creek that you'll find anywhere on YouTube.